Hi there dear viewers and insect fans. Today I'm honored to share with you my very first specimen of the rosy maple moth Dreocampa rubicana and as expected it's extremely small and cute. But what caught me off guard is the fact that it's very pale and yellow looking while these moths are usually quite pink. I think it's just natural variation but it's still interesting to see a specimen like this it's almost yellowish and white instead of instead of uh, pink. I don't know what caused it. It's probably just natural variation, and some populations uh, are known to have some of these pale specimens. So it's still very cute, but I still hope to see some more pink ones emerge very soon. As you can see, uh, it's very small. It's one of the smallest uh, silk moths in the world if you take a look at the family of Saturnidae. Saturnidae is the family of silk moth that is a very large family. It is even family of the, of the giant Atlas moth, the Hercules moth, some of the commonly bred silk moth, like the Tree of Heaven silk moth, all of those are Saturnidae. And in general those are very big moths, but this one is an exception. And when it's stirred it will flap its wings and walk for a little while and then attempt to settle again. Oh, come here little one. As you can see the underside is very nice and pink though the wings are a little bit yellowish. I have to be careful not to let it escape because small species like this are often very good at flying away. The legs, the pink legs are a very nice touch. So let's see here. Let's take a look at those cute pink legs. Wow, it's a very nice specimen, I quite like them. Very cute. Thanks for watching guys, there's more coming up for sure. I'm rearing actually a second generation of these already, they're in the third instar and I have about 30 larvae of them, so I hope to breed these in higher numbers. Thanks for watching all of you.